organic lawn care is easy. I would explain to you in the next few minutes how you can transition from chemical to organic. There is a reason why chemical companies, they want you to buy their products every year. They just want to make money. And um, they try to convince you that you need their products in order to have a healthy and green lawn. But that's, uh, that's totally wrong. Um, what are you doing when you use chemicals is you are killing the microbiology in the soil. Uh, basically, your soil is dead. And uh, what happens is you need to um, give some nutrients to your plants. You need to give uh, some fertilizer for the, for the grass to grow. Um, you need to apply pesticides to kill weeds. You need to apply uh, more pesticides to kill uh, grubs. So this is the typical scenario. You have a chemical lawn. So you apply air in the spring, you, have, you apply a, a weed and feed, which is um, you basically kill all the weeds early in April, and then you fertilize your grass. Then uh, you will need to apply uh, more pesticides to kill grubs. The grass will, will typically show up when the soil temperature is around 55 degrees. Um, the grubs will eat um, the root system of the grass and, um, and then the skunks will be digging down in the soil looking for those grubs. Um, then in the middle of the summer you will apply another round of, of um, fertilizer. And then in the fall again you do the same application for grub control and also for uh, um, for uh, dandelions. So you do that for life. Every single season you're going to be doing the exactly the same thing. So if you think about it, you're basically getting rid of the symptoms. Every single um, uh, weed is telling you something about the soil. Even, even the grubs are telling you something about the soil. So I know that um, um, grubs will be in sandy soils. So usually that happens um, on top of leaching fields, on top of uh, septic systems. Um, I know dandelions, they will grow because there's low calcium in the soil, so it's low, you know, calcium deficiency. Um, organically, I fix the problem. So I look at all those symptoms. I look at the grubs, I look at the dandelions, I look at the crabgrass. I look at the moss growing on, on the lawn and I will fix all those problems. So um, crabgrass, for example, I know that um, the soil is probably very compacted. So what I will do is I will add a compost because compost makes the soil porous. It holds more water, it holds more nutrients. Um, dandelions, I know it's calcium deficiency. So what I will do is I will introduce some calcitic lime. Um, most people will use the wrong type of lime. They will use dolomitic, which is a lot of magnesium but not enough calcium. So, um, so you're making everything worse. Um, this is why it's very, very important to uh, take a soil sample whenever you, uh, before you apply anything. Um, soil sample is number one. Um, then uh, organically also. Um, since I want to feed the, the microbes in the soil, the microbes are the ones who decompose all the organic matter, all the organic fertilizer, and uh, they produce um, a byproduct that is uh, available nutrients for the for the plants. So, chemically, you feed the grass. Organically, you feed the soil. Chemically, you get rid of the symptoms, but you never fix the problems. Organically, you feed the problems. Uh, you look at the weeds. Weeds is a messenger telling you something about the soil. You fix whatever is needed, and then uh, the problem is solved. Um, chemically, everything is so much more expensive because you are applying the same products every single year. Organically, it gets to a point that you stop using products altogether. Um, I know, for example, that the microbes in the soil are pH 7. They feed on each other, so they keep the soil balanced at uh, pH 7. Um, they produce enough nutrients for the plants to grow, so that's your fertilizer. So that's why an established organic lawn is self-sustainable, and that's why you never have to use anything. Um, if the soil is alive and you have earthworms, they're digging tunnels, they're basically aerating your lawn. Um, you never have thatch in an organic lawn because you have those microbes eating all the dead roots. 
and they are producing more nutrients for your plants. So uh, chemically everything is wrong because once you apply something you break the whole system and then you need to uh, put something to kill grubs and because you kill grubs you are displacing all the earthworms that they, they dig tunnels and they aerate the lawn and that, that way you have to aerate it in a chemical lawn. Organically you don't have any, any thatch because you have the microbes eating all the dead roots. Chemically you have to dethatch the lawn because there's nothing there to decompose that. Uh, so again, it's organic is simple, it's easy. Once you learn a little bit about the whole uh, systems approach to organic lawn care, it, everything makes sense. So it can be done, I've done it, there's so many people doing it, people are changing and doing everything organically, um, organic is the way to go. So hopefully you will learn something today, um, and if you like this video, please, as always, like it, share it with your friends, and, um, and write some comments down, down below. Thank you, and uh, have a good day.